guys, quick video. I'm here to get this wart removed. This mole checked out. A wart on my foot, possibly. And uh, this damn eczema. We have to go to the doctors even when we don't want to, right? Uh, can you see it? It's very slight. I had it since 2017. So hopefully it's not anything too serious. And I have eczema, and it's just not going away. Well, anyway, so I'm here for like a few, you know, minor things, and this wart. I want this wart removed. Look at that. This gnarly, bro. I've had it frozen off. I put medicine. We have to do what we have to do. We have to go to the doctors. We have the skin doctor in Freehold, New Jersey. All right, guys. I just wanted to give you a little health update. You know, just little minor things. Can you see it? I've been looking at pictures since 2017 and it's been there. Okay. I will keep you uh, posted, all right? See you in a bit. So I have things getting there today. The jeans, candles, things like that. My makeup is crazy tight. Uh, Pink and blue and green here and blue and blue. This is nice. It's like a liquid. No blush, no lipstick. I love you. See you later. Okay. Hi everybody, it's me Jennifer. I'm just getting out of the um, doctor's office, the skin doctor. And I will give you an update. Hold on, let me just roll the window out. Okay, we just fix myself here, make myself presentable. All right, so as you see, I told you I had a wart. <sighs> Baby, that hurt. So, she said if it's on the side, she can put lidocaine and like a needle and then gouge it out. But because it's on my finger and there's a lot of nerve endings here, I have to come for various treatments. So, so basically, um, I have to, uh, what she did was she, she put, she cryoed it, like, you know, like, um, froze it, and then she shaved it off, and then she froze it again, and shaved it and dug in there. It hurt, but if I can get a tattoo as beautiful as this, and as beautiful as this, with no anesthesia, then I'm straight. So, um, I bled a little bit more than, than others, because I do take a blood thinner, but it's not a big deal. And um, so, um, not next week, but the week after, I'm gonna come back to um, get it um, cry, you know, the frozen off again, and she's gonna dig and dig and dig until she gets it out. Uh, maybe three or four, uh, maybe four sessions, because she can't do a punch biopsy here. Um, so that's that on that. I have a, um, a little wart on my, on my foot. She froze that. And then over here, if you can see it, let's see. I want to show you. See it? There's a little white bump, if you will, right there. Um, I've had it for quite some time. In fact, I um, looked online from 2017 or 2018 on, and I've had it there. She said, I, you know, we all go to Dr. Google, right? So I went to Dr. Google, and Dr. Google said this might be basal cell carcinoma. And I was like, oh, God. So she said, it's not. But if you want to get a biopsy, come back next week. So I'm coming back next week to get a biopsy, just a little scrape, and then let them tell me what it is. If it's basal cell, the surgeon will, right in the office, you know, while I'm awake, uh, give me lots of needles and punch it out, sew it up, and I'm on my way, and I'll be fine. So... It's good to check this stuff out, people. Do not, do not sit on that stuff. You could be afraid. I am terrifyingly afraid of going to doctors, and I went. So, and then I got some cream for my eczema. I have a little eczema on my wrist, and that's about it. So, I just want to tell you I love you, and thank you for being supportive of me and listening to my story for today. Um, take care of your health because you only live one life. This is your body, your temple, and you have to take care of it. Okay, I'm a little hyper, and I don't know why. <laughs> um, so I love you, and I'll see you on the next ride.